Hmm. That was a pretty cool mask. I have I have a couple that I'm not gonna sport them for you. Um, I was outside earlier this morning on my patio. Yes, St Stella. She came by, but she didn't stop. She had a mouse in her mouth. And then Johnny stopped by, and she didn't eat anything. But she comes by around eight o'clock. They're, they're, they're like clockwork. Um, but I was Marco following people and, um, look, reading my book. And this was an interesting chapter. Chapter 16. Um, what, what, it was Lamb of God. God saves. I might have to look at it, read it again. It was very good because it talked about the crucifixion, which the crucifixion, I kind of understand. But he talked about more. Now, if you know me, the first thing I notice is what you're wearing on your feet. I don't know what. My gaze goes, you know, to your shoes. You know, and then the second thing is your mask now. Whether it's colorful, surgical, whatever. That's the second thing. Because I really believe that you can't always tell a person what a person's doing with wearing a mask. Um, you can't always tell the smile. But that's beside the point. Um, but the feet. Now, leading up to the crucifixion was the washing of the feet. Would I have done that? Heck no. Um, so it was really interesting to read about. And, you know, we've heard the stories of the disciples in the garden of Gethsemane. Gethsemane, which I can't say right now because my tongue. Um, guess yeah, whatever that garden where he was praying and um, but a lot of the disciples turn and ran, and so I was putting myself. I you know you can be angry at all those disciples for doing what they did, but putting yourself in their shoes. Would I have run? Probably. Probably. I would have ran. Because survival takes over, right? And survival means running. Getting away from the situation. So it was interesting, but the foot washing really got to me. Probably because I don't like feet. Um, some people have talons. Some people have nice looking feet. Um, but if you think about it, okay, back in that time, the heels were cracked, the feet were maybe deformed, I don't know. But there was, um, the road on the feet, dust, and the feet were dirty. But he sat and knelt before them. Even knowing hours away, they were going to disappear on him. He did this. He not only did this for them, he's done that for me. He knows that there's going to be times where I'm going to run. Um, there are going to be times I don't put him first. There are going to be times I forget. I'm, you know, you hear human nature, but as Max points out, we were we we knew some things when we were born. You know, and I believe that to be true. So, would I have run? Heck yes! It would have looked funny because <laughs> I'm reminded of um, they were coming around at the baseball game we were at. And um, I'm 
like, there's no way I'm running. Look, maybe, but it's going to look funny because I'm going to be, you know, because even now I walk really funny. Um, I walk like I'm drunk. I don't drink. I, I think that's funny. You know, I bump into people. Sorry. You know, um, that just happens. You know, there are many facets to my MS. Did I use that word right? I don't know. I like that word. There are many branches to my, to my MS. Sometimes, um, well, a lot of times I'm off balance. I think that's where, because of where my lesion is. I believe um, there are other times I'm feeling pain right here now that might be more hormonal see uh, I can't say it. hormonal <laughs> you know I feel it some days worse than others um, there are some days my eyes bounce Monday, Monday, this past Monday, I told James, man, I'm not driving. I'm not driving. You know your limitations. A lot of times I'm dragging my right foot. I walk funny. I don't walk like everybody else. Okay, it takes me a little bit longer to get from point A to point B. You know, um, what else do I do? I I don't have really access, like everybody else, to the right hand. Typing. You know, where once I was doing this, I do this. I use speak and text a lot. And I know you know that because I talk about speak and text. And... Lately, I have been slurring my words a little bit more. So the speak and text is often funny. Sometimes I send it just because I think the person would get a good laugh. And other times I'm changing it to what I really said. Cotton? I didn't say that. I said Julie. You know, it, it's way off. Way off. And I'm like, even slurring my words, whatever. So, that is me. I'm slurring my words more. I, I can't type. I write like a seven-year-old. I wish, I wish, when, because I would mark up my book before. I would write in my Bible. I would do this. I had, like you said, excellent penmanship. I don't do that anymore. Um, I'm thinking about writing letters to, or cards or something. That does not consist of what it used to. I've adapted. Hmm. I'm kind of moving on. Can you tell I'm moving? No. So how does this get back to washing of the feet? I wouldn't be able to experience those things if he didn't wash the feet. Yes, Julie, yes, that's it. <laughs> no, I moved on because I like to talk. In fact, um, it was kind of funny. Uh, we went out after a meeting at church um, there's a core group of us that like to get together and we feel comfortable with each other. We were spacing and, and you know, and my best friend, I call him my best friend, best friend, BFF. He so nicely told me, shut up. <laughs> That's my word. That is my words. You know, he was like, you talk too much. I have to tell you something before I forget it. Or I have to tell you something. So let me get a word in. Yes, he was absolutely right. I thought that was the funniest thing. I do. I More people 
nicely need to tell me because generally speaking if I'm giving given given time to talk I'm gonna talk I'm a talker <laughs> but anyways I hope I hope you have a really good day today and um think about it whoa there you oh oh there you go there you go um would you have washed another person's feet would you have sacrificed i would say more than your life bent down would you have bent down and served i probably wouldn't 